Live on the internet, everybody. Oh, live. <laughs> Just get my in ears on. I'm about to go and do some singing. Some singing. Hello, Ben Below. Hello, Milan Vale. Hello, Hannah. So I'm backstage at the ITV Palooza. If you're wondering what that is, so am I. <laughs> but I'm here and I've just seen Arge off Towie. Love Arge. Hey Arge, love you. I saw some of the Love Island contestants. Love that this summer too. Just walked the red carpet. Answered some questions. Had my picture taken. Signed some autographs. Did some pictures with people. Hello, Berlin. I like her X Factor team, said Natalie. Natalia. Thanks, Natalia. I do too. Can you show them my outfit? This is what I'm wearing. Yeah. Oh, yes. Follow me, says Hetty Walker. Why, where are you going, Hetty? Deborah Furness, checking in with the people on up front. Uh, has ha Ida had a fringe cut? I love her hair up, it really suits her, says Sarah Hyland. No, she hasn't. She hasn't, has she? No. She just did a thing with it. <clears throat> I'm, off to pre I'm off to Prague for the Christmas market, says Isabella. Excellent. Bobby Brown says he's live. I am live. Ida is a game changer on the X Factor. She's so beautiful with the fringe. Ida is a game changer. X, she is so beautiful with the fringe. Yes, she is. Looking good, Robbie. Thanks, Marley. Am I too late again, says Rebecca T. No, you're not. Get us some followers, please. The Mel... Where's the beautiful wife? The beautiful wife's in an audience at the moment. A backstage at a thing called uh, ITV Palooza. And like I said before, I don't know what that is. Um... Manda says, I like the winter as long as there isn't too much snow, but living in Scotland, you've got to like the cold. Or oh, rather you than me. So now I've propped my phone with Insta Live on the computer like you do, Rob. Clever. Hee <laughs> hee, says Silky. Hi, Rob. You're looking hot, says Jules. Thanks, Jules Waterhouse. Rob, are you groups on Saturday? I don't know if that's a question, Debs. Are you groups on Saturday? I bet you are. Looking fab, Rob, says Kerry. Thank you. Loving the tunes under the Radar 3, says Laura. Thank you. Go to YouTube right now. Go and check out Vloggy Williams. I've got some questions that I've been posing to you all. Um, which mix of which different songs you would like to see on Under the Radar Volume 3 that will be out, I would say, in the next month or so. So go to YouTube and check that out, and you can help me out. Although, I've already counted the votes. But the next vloggy I'll do will be deciding between two songs. A song called Love Attack and a song called The Impossible. I prefer The Impossible. Gold is literally some of the best lyrics I've ever heard. It's amazing, says Mikhail R. Thanks, darling. Yeah, they're quite sweet. But I, I think they're a bit silly. But I like silly. Mix one is amazing, love it. 90s tune says Julie Juliet. Me too, I prefer mix one. 
Mix 2 came out on top though. Rob, who are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing Christian Dior. And yes, the label is supposed to be on. That's what they're doing this season. Dedicated follower of fashion. Your daughter is so gorgeous, says Penny1987. Yes, she is. She's incredible. I meant, are your groups on X Factor on Saturday? Yes, Debs, they are. They are on X Factor. Jenny Fuchs says you're going to win. It's going to be tough because I'll tell you for why. I've got the talent and I believe in them, but Louis, off of One Direction, has got the following and he's going to get them all to vote. And I wish I'd have known that before I put a bet on with him. Yo, Rob, it's Alame Choir. We need some followers. Oh, the Alame Choir. Hello, the Alame Choir. Loved seeing you last night. What a strong song you've got for um, week one. Glad to be of any assistance. Really looking forward to seeing you on Friday as well, I think. Coming down to make sure the rehearsals go okay and everybody's treating you well. I couldn't read your handle name. It's confusing. And I'm dyslexic, so anything's a bit confusing. Anything with a B or a D in it. What aftershave so you have on? Fran. So I have on no aftershave. But if I did, it would be tobacco and vanilla by Tom Ford. Rob, you've got FIFA 19 yet? Any good? Yeah, I've got FIFA 19 and it's just like FIFA 18. I've been, play been playing career mode for the last week or so much to my wife's chagrin she keeps saying to me oh you're gonna go back into the office yes i've been going into the office to play career mode on fifa 19. i've been playing as manchester united and i'm doing much better on 15 fifa 50 fifa 19 than they are in real life what did you bet says vivienne 79 money cash money what do you think of gary's book says raquel 06 i really like gary's book um, Gaz is always the person that you rely on and um, he is someone that you can rely on too and if you're the person that everybody relies on all of the time and you're kind of really strong um, who's that person rely on and I feel that bit that way with Gaz so I read his book and it made me sad and it made me happy and it made me laugh but you know a lot of things go on up in his head, things that you wouldn't think were happening. Uh, but I love me some gas, and I was glad to be in his world, if only in a book, for a couple of days. If you haven't got the Gary Barlow book, go out and get that. This is like a radio show, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sitting down then. Okay. Teddy made German news on the internet, everything. She's a little star, says Silky. Yeah, she is. Teddy, while she was on the steps of the um, church, while all the ch other children were doing this, Teddy went, I don't know where she got that from. How's Coco? Coco's good. She's just being a baby. She's being a big baby about everything. What are you up to tonight, says Panty? I'm uh, backstage at a thing called the um, ITV, ITV Palooza. I really don't know what it is, but I'm going to be singing a couple of songs in a little bit. But I'm a secret, so don't tell anybody. Anybody else in the X Factor house on my live Insta? Is Orange still a mate? Jason Orange. I love Jason Orange. I love him a lot. Very <coughs> smart, thoughtful man. I haven't seen him in ages. And he's changed his email address and he hasn't given me his new one. No, not upset. Not upset. I'm going to get it off Gary Barlow. What happened to your tooth? It's always been like that. Nothing's happened to it in the last two months. It's just dark from the coffee and dark from the smoking. I'm at work, so I can't listen to Instagram. Cooey, everybody, says Sarah Hoyland. Oh, that's a shame, because I just give you a shout out. Rob, what did you think when you saw Teddy asking Fergie, was she the queen? I thought it was sweet. I did say to her before we went to the wedding, baby, do you want to have a look at the queen to make sure that you know which the queen is? She was like, no, I'm fine, I'll know. She didn't. Your fit, says Kaylee. Thanks, Kaylee. Sweet Sense, what were you thinking? Well, Nicola, this is what I was thinking about Sweet Sense. 
I thought they were going to have to be a lot better than the boys for me to not put the boys through. Because the sad truth is, girls don't vote for girls. You can point to Little Mix and go, but what about Little Mix? Yes. There's always um, one thing that bucks the trend. But, that being said, I thought the boys, bizarrely for a boy group, can all sing. Because you need at least one or two members that can't, but they can all sing. And I know I work with them, obviously, because I was in Take That. Um... I just thought the girls didn't have the chemistry that was needed. They could have in a year or so, but lives start this Saturday and they didn't have the time. I didn't think they were bad, I thought they were really good. There's a lot of talent in that band, but you know, they were gonna have to be pretty special to beat the boys, and they didn't. <clears throat> in my eyes, anyway. Which is incredible about what happens when you um, are on the X Factor. So many people at home are so uh, engrossed in the competition and people have definite thoughts about who should definitely go through. But I think if you did it by the wisdom of a crowd or if you chose everybody's favorite, everybody would go through. But it's nice that people are still bothered. Groups for the win says Stud J Clark. Thank you, have you planned anything for next Halloween? No, I'm not big on Halloween. They're big on it in America. They're big on all holidays. Um, and Halloween in Los Angeles is quite something to behold. But I never dress up for it. Um, do you agree with Irish choices for a final four? Yes, I do. Um, I watched the show. And if I had to make the decision myself, those are the decisions that I would have made. Uh, hello, says Kelly Dugan. Hello, Kelly Dugan. Your hair looks really long, Rob. Long? Yeah. Are you really going to stop smoking, says Isabella. Isabella, yes. On January the 1st, folks, I'm going to stop smoking. Anybody want to join me? It's great to see you on the X Factor, Josh Churchill says. Thank you, Josh. But I'm really scared about putting weight on. I'm terrified, in fact, about that. Um, but staying alive for my children will be worth the wait thing. He said, lying to himself. Hey, Rob, he says, Sabrina, do you ever get to eat oat cakes? If so, what would you put in them? For me, it's cheese and beans, says Claire VBB. Well, Claire VBB, on my oat cakes, um, I go straight for the cheese and onion. Um, if I'm feeling good, I'll have a sausage thrown in there too. And it's got to be tomato sauce for me. But my dad goes with HP sauce. Don't stop smoking as a bad thing. See it as a being liberated and free from the nicotine trap. Yeah. Mm. I don't think that's going to cut it for me. I'm quite attached to it. Quite like it. Also, I gave up for four years once. And um, the benefits of it weren't great, to be honest. I know you don't die, which is great. But I didn't all of a sudden feel like Goliath or anything. Oh, Rob, have you vaped? Says IBMPT Teresa. No, I haven't vaped. But I think as you might as well be smoking if you vape. Thank you. Who's making all the noise in the background? It's me tapping on the table, nervously. Smoking can cause cancer, so please stop. Okay, Rebecca. Bless you, Pops. I'll go for it. Try and stop smoking with your kids, says Isabella. Thank you. Is your hair long enough to get it in your mouth? Boys want to know. Hey, you were asking that question yesterday. Don't think so. And I can't do it now because it's all been hairsprayed. And Gina, my long-suffering makeup artist, will um, strangle me if I do that. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday, Rob. Misunderstood are brilliant. Yes, sir, they are. If I was a betting man, if I was a betting man... I'd say I've got the top four. All of my groups, top four. Please stop voking my, my father-in-law is dying a sad death of OCPD. That's very sad, Kerry, I'm really sorry. You look good with that Botox, says Isabel. I think you might be referring to last year when everybody saw those pictures of me and went, what's he done to his face? Well, what I'd actually done to my face was absolutely nothing. I was taking steroids for my back and uh, I ballooned up. And that was just me fat. That's what I looked like, fat. I was just fat. Um, there was no Botox. 
What are you singing tonight, Rob? Let me entertain you and angels. Any Spanish song for the tour when I got out to South America in a couple of weeks, says Evelyn from Chile? No. No, no Spanish songs. Do you have cake at the wedding, Rob? No, I didn't. I didn't manage to get my hands on some cake. We're going to get a Robbie-themed week on X Factor. I don't know you know Sarah Davidson. They did that once. I don't know if they're going to do it again. Bobby asks, what does it mean if you say hi to me? Say hi, Joris. He's still on Insta, isn't he, says Annie. Yeah, I am, yeah. You was not fat. Oh, my God. Amanda. I was puffy. I was a bit big. God bless you. It's a really nice thing to say. Not fat, Rob. Just a bit more weight. Well, you know, anything other than perfect when you're a pop star is fat. Is the entire band with you? No, they're not. Wow, so not fat. You're far too critical of yourself. Okay. Uh, a star should do rude box. Will you do a Christmas tour next year? I don't know. But I'm going to do an under the radar thing. I'm doing an under the radar show. Before you ask me, I don't know when it is. I don't know what month it is. And you will know when I know. Stop telling everybody about up front. It's a secret. Oh, yeah. Up front. The place to go if you want to come see me for free. On a gig. Now I've said that. I have to keep to it. Alexis Sanchez is playing tonight for Chile versus Mexico. Who doesn't love Alexis Sanchez? Apart from the Manchester United fans right now because he's not doing amazing. But we know that class is permanent and form is temporary. Would you try a cold swim for the health kick next year? Yeah, I would. Hi, Robbie. On a year six residential with 60 kids, can I get a hi, please? Hi, Dalski. People where I work are enjoying you on X Factor. People where you work? Oh, good, thanks. Have you seen The Star Is Born yet? No, I've not. But it seems to be taking everybody by storm. People are loving it. It's touching people in the right places. Will you do another Roadbox Radio someday? That was ace. I don't know. Never say never. Robbie, will you be on the X Factor next weekend? On the 27th, 28th, 10th? I don't know. I'm on the next week and the weekend after. Could you mention football? It's Belgium versus Netherlands at the moment. Your little princess, did you so proud Teddy is a little star? Thank you. Robbie, you and Blaze kind of look alike. There's quite a few people on the x Factor this year that I look alike. Say happy birthday to my husband so he doesn't get pissed off at me. Happy birthday, Natasha Louise Tutti's husband. Did you start The Bodyguard yet? No, I haven't watched The Bodyguard yet. Have you ever done floating therapy? What, like in a tank? No, but I quite fancy doing it. Joe Rogan says it's incredible. He's got his own tank. Have you watched Killing Eve? Nope. I haven't watched Killing Eve or The Bodyguard yet. I'm 16 from Dev and genuinely so obsessed with your voice. You're so incredible. Angels is my favourite. Well, God bless you. Thank you. I love the love. Hello from Hamburg. Oh, shit. My battery is about to die, says Sue Muller. I'm sorry, Sue. Sounds busy there, Robbie. Like, my wee granny has a tally up too loud. Ha-ha, bless her. Yeah, I'm in the dressing room. That's the live feed to whatever's going on. Wherever the people are all sat. Having some food, I suppose. Okay. So thank you for being with me on my live Insta. Killing Eve is amazing, says so Sarah Howe. She'll have to check it out. Is there another swing album in the works? Yeah, but I'm boot man. I'm boot man for several years, in it. On my grind. Okay, do you think I'll push on your next tour? Kisses, said DD Nass. Robbie Genius, says Blanco, so little, little dad. Alame Choir, if you're still watching, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.